pretty treacherous weather behind us. We're going to stay close, take it easy, catch some green trout. I'm going to show you some little tricky methods of catching these tricky little fish and some man made canals. Go, baby. Not the biggest of bass in the world when we do this right here in these residential canals, but staying safe from the weather. You can see that weather in the background. Very edible fish. Great table fare. Good size if you want to clean them and fry them. Got a little fish fry cleaning up. What we're using today, I'm using the Matrix Fluke. We got this in a 3 inch and a 5 inch. Definitely want to go with the three inch in here because the, these bass just aren't really big enough on average to get that five inch. With the three inch, it's deadly. You want to put it on a swim bait hook. You want to go light. You want to either use a 16 ounce or just use a weightless one. And the reason why is you want to work just like a top water style. You know, although if you kill it, this lure will sink. You want to rip it pretty quick. These bass are kind of smart. You want to work this lure fast, get a reaction strike out of them. Don't give them time to think about whether they want to commit to it or not. Make them commit. You can catch a lot of these right here in your, all your residential canals and your north, bayous on the North Shore. Great thing to do when the weather's pretty tough. Oh boy, we went from pinochles to this toad. Good one here. That was like a solid four to five pound fish. I cannot believe I missed that fish. I hope you guys got to see that in action. But let me show you the lure I threw right there to get that one. This is the paddle tail. This is a swim shed. Got a lot more grass here. And I'm just working it over that grass like a river frog. You see that grass real thick? And you just work it right over the top like such. That was one of the nicer bass I've caught, or had almost caught, in a long time. This fish is in the grass. I don't, do I still have him? Yes, I do. Look how much grass. So that's the key to this, guys. You want to find grass. Look at this. Where's the fish at? <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. We're going to get a shot of that real quick. Shot. All right, guys, so behind us, you can see that grass is getting pretty thick. So this is typically how I'll use it if the grass is pretty mellow. If it gets thick like this, you want to skin hook your bait, like so right here. Now, you better see how we're, you don't have to make the longest cast in the world. I'm just throwing it over that grass, and I'm just keeping it high, kind of twitching it. And when I come out the edge of the grass, then I'll switch my rod tip down, and I'll kill it some, do a little bit different presentation. So that's kind of your that's that's the presentation we're using right there. It's staying high over the grass, and then when it gets to the edge, you can kill it in case they got some hanging out a little bit deeper on the edge. But getting some nice little strikes like this. All right, both the the uh, Matrix Fluke here and the Matrix Swim Shed, we're rigging them the same way. You're gonna simply. Corkscrew the head of the lure. Screw it on in just like so. Try to get it nice and straight. And then you put the belly slit down, the belly of it down, and then the hook's gonna go through the belly, out through the top. Like I said, if you're approaching heavy grass, simply skin hook it, and there you go, right there. Getting a few short strikes there, so I switched from uh, a, more of the open and night color to this is, uh, we call this a shock top. It's like your electric tri chicken color. Nice little chunk there. Came out and crushed it right off the bank. All right, whenever you're fishing some of these subdivisions and man-made canals, 
The bass can either be up tight to the docks, under the docks, using them for shade. We obviously don't have that hot of a day today. It's very cloudy. So where I'm finding them right now is the open shorelines. Some of these shorelines are very grassy and they're holding them and some of them aren't that grassy. But the one thing I am finding constant is like the shoreline we're on right now is it's got a lot of brush laying over, a lot of wooded, a lot of wooded uh, layovers and twigs and branches in the water. And whenever you fish at shorelines like that, just naturally getting, you gotta live dangerously. You wanna throw it up in there. Those bass are real tight to the bank, real tight to the brush. You're gonna deal with snags. You're gonna deal with hooking onto the trees. I mean, even the greatest fishermen in the world, they, they don't make the absolute perfect cast every single time. So that's just something you gotta deal with. You know, this bass fishing deal's a little bit trickier, a little bit harder, a little bit more finesse, but it's very effective. What did we snag into here? Big what did we snag into here? There's no bass here. This is right when we missed that big one earlier. I think it's a redfish. Not, not very common for back here, but certainly he'll take it. He looks like a keeper. An old red daddy. Yeah, baby. For the bass, catch the reds on the fluke. He about ripped the rod out my hand. Just working it the same way. Right over that grass, came right off the edge of that grass, and that, oh, there it is. That red tattooed that thing. Get a look at him here. Nice little 18, 19 inch red. Wish we were catching more of these mixed then. out here. I didn't think we'd be able to go fishing with all of the rain and thunderstorms around today and luckily we haven't got rained on but we stayed close just in case we had to bail. We're catching these little rascals right here pretty regularly and having a ball doing it. Multiple different colors today. Oh, catching little knotheads like this and some nice chunks. We missed one almost five pounds earlier in the day, and that fish was big. But hope you enjoyed this episode on what to do on some inclement weather conditions. There's always something to do out here, guys. Down here in South Louisiana, the weather just can't stop you down here. There's so many different styles of fishing to do and to get out the weather, and this is what we like to do under tough weather situations. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all of our bass fishing episodes. Subscribe to the Matrix Bait Box. You're going to get some swim sheds, some Matrix flukes in there. That way, if you need to go bass fishing and try this out, you can do it too. Hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, good fish.